Hey guys, it's Bull Critical Rent. Last time on Project Epoch, we saw the rise of civilizations. So many, in fact, that it makes Sid Meier proud. We have multiple civilizations, multiple races coming together, not unlike the Horde previously, but even more so this time. We have meerkats and Ractonians working together, trying to find some kind of balance between life and death. We have uh, proto lizard folk merging with other entities around them in that area we have lots of civilizations going on we also surprisingly have the mephits who kind of were the underdogs last time around have now come into fruition and they have created a banking system that has spread across the entire area they've been joined by obsidian mephits and i believe frost mephits so We've got this whole going on. We've got like a Mephit civilization. Um, they are being controlled by a new Efreet power player who has, uh, his name is uh, Akatosh. He is causing um, some interesting problems, but we'll see where that goes. Also, if you'll remember previously, we talked about Whisper Letty and Bellows Dern, who were kind of like our, mm, for lack of better terms, Sith and Jedi guys. And Whisper was trying to take control over the new leaders of these civilizations with his brooches of friendship. Fortunately or unfortunately, he was countered by Bellows Dern, and these brooches changed the leaders into creatures. So Whisper does not have control over any of the civilizations, and now we have some more monsters about. Uh, we also saw um, some new heroes emerge. We have... Um, Exire, who is a child of the Shaw line, he is currently trying to find the pieces of Rind and unite them into one piece. And he's dealing with a blue goblin who has now taken the heart of Rind upon himself, and his name is now Nilbog. So I hope you'll join us for this next episode as we tackle rounds four and five and see where our adventure takes us.